Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to make a smooth 3D mask transition effect easy in After Effects. Let's begin. First let's scroll to the second clip that we are making transition on and make sure to duplicate it. Now make sure you are at the beginning of duplicated layer and then right click on it. Go to time and select freeze frame. Now we have a still image of our car and we can begin making transition. But first let's scroll to the beginning of a duplicated layer and then go 90 frames backward. Hold shift and press page up 9 times. Move that froze layer there and then cut the ending of it. Now let's pre-compose that layer. I will name it mask and then make sure move all attributes and adjust composition duration is selected and then hit OK. Now we have to mask out the car to isolate it from a background, and since it's a still image and we don't need to track anything, we can use a pen tool and mask out the car as smooth as possible. Once you are done, make sure to enable 3D on a mask layer and then scroll to the end of that layer. Now press P on a keyboard and click on position stopwatch icon. Just make sure that the keyframe is at the very end of a mask layer. Now let's scroll to the very beginning and bump up Z position to bring the car closer to the camera. Now I will move it all the way right like that and then make sure to select both keyframes and press F9 on a keyboard to easy ease them. Then go to graph editor. Right click here and select edit speed graph and make a smooth curve. Let's check it. Looks so weird, transition is linear and now let me show you how to smoothen it out and make it look better. Scroll forward something like that so you can see the masked car and then highlight both position keyframes. Now right click on one of them and select keyframe interpolation. Make sure to change spatial interpolation to continuous bezier and then hit OK. It will give us those two handles of a keyframes and we will be able to smoothen the path of the position. Let's drag it down something like that. Also drag the second one, and that one I will drag a bit further. As you see the path is no longer linear and it's curved and smoothed out, let's quickly check the transition. I still don't like it maybe I will adjust it a little bit, make sure to take your time and adjust the curve until you will be happy with the transition. Now that looks better to me, but let's enable motion blur on mask layer and then duplicate the layer. Select bottom layer and press M on a keyboard and delete the mask on it. Now scroll to the end of mask layer and press T on a keyboard. Click on opacity stopwatch icon to create a keyframe and then scroll back something like that and change opacity to 0%. Now select both opacity keyframes and hit F9 on a keyboard to easy ease them, then go to graph editor and make a smooth curve. Let's check it now. Looks cool to me, but we can make that effect better with adding a shake effect. I will skip shakes part because I have made too much shake tutorials, also I have made 16 unique shake presets that you can get from the link in description, check how it looks like with my shake presets. Hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and like the video please.